So I wanted to show you just a real world application of using a conditional statement as part of something bigger. And so this is an example of that. Uh, this is, uh, say for example, I had an address and I needed to geolocate that address for whatever purpose. Uh, so I need the longitude and latitude. Well, let's say for example, Williams Hall, if we hadn't been uh, online, uh, we would be either in Williams Hall or Daniels Hall, or we'd be, you know, roughly speaking in Raleigh uh, or on campus. But the entire point is I want to know the longitude and latitude for Williams Hall. Now, there are some more of the like high level advanced things that we need to deal with when we're dealing with making calls like this. For example, something known as an API key. Uh, for anyone who's just copying and pasting whatever they see on this video, uh, I've already deleted this because I've had someone do that before and it's expensive when they steal my password. Uh, but either way, this is just some randomly generated password that Google gave me and said, hey, you know, if you want to access our uh, APIs, our, our commands to get that kind of data, you can use this. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to plug it into Google's uh, website. And, you know, they've got a nice little website for API uh, where I would pass it in the address and my key. Now, I do need to do some other little fancy things, like I need to convert those spaces into uh, plus signs because web pages don't like spaces, but you know, we're jumping through this. This stuff is more a little too advanced. This is more just like to show it off. Uh, but again, I go in, I download the contents of that web page. I'm gonna do a little sleep just to let it all download. Uh, and then I'm going to do some parsing on that. But specifically where I wanted to really look was this idea of conditions. Let's say for example, I get a, well, when you make a uh, download of a web page, that web browser, your, your web browser will give you back some kind of response code. And specifically, a website giving you back correct data will give you a 200 status code. This is where that joke of like 404 comes from. 404 is the status code for that web page was not found. And, you know, it turned into its own little meme. But specifically, what I'm looking at is if I didn't get a 200 in this case, I'm making a print statement. Oh, something went wrong. I got a problem. Then I am doing some more stuff where I'm, you know, just grabbing uh, what the status uh, of that was, uh, specifically because status is going to tell me if something has screwed up. Uh, maybe my account is overdrawn, or uh, even though I'm using a free tier, uh, someone has made too many queries uh, with my account. So status is effectively saying, oh, well, you know, let me check all of the statuses that Google may have under its belt. So in this case, uh, over query limit, I've made too many queries, uh, or uh, I asked for a web uh, a location that doesn't exist. Uh, so never well Neverland Ranch does exist. Uh, I don't um, the under side uh, the dark side of the moon. Let's see if that works. The dark side of the moon. So just to see that as an example, uh, I'm not going to over limit because we're dealing with uh, something that would charge me money. Uh, but oh, well, let's check if there are zero results. And just to continue jumping down, if the status is OK, that means I did, in fact, get it. And so I'm just going to extract out the longitude and latitude. Uh, and then I just have some base case of it doesn't exist again. Uh, but as you can see, I would then print it out. So. Now that I've had that and I, I gave it an address effectively, let's run this. Huh, okay, well the dark side of the moon actually has a location. Who knew? Uh, I don't know, let's just give it some random text. There we go, okay, so a random uh, place just out in the world. Uh, or again, Williams. Paul, Raleigh, North Carolina. And there's the uh, longitude and latitude of Williams Hall, Raleigh, North Carolina by using sort of these different commands, but 
very specifically again working with the conditional statements to make sure I get I'm able to process it.